You are now listening to a member of the Disney Podcast family. Head over to Disney Podcast family on Instagram to see all the latest posts for this show and links to other great Disney podcasts. Welcome back to Miles from Main Street. Today, we're providing tips on experiences you can have at Walt Disney World while discussing our top 10 memories from visiting Disney World. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Please stand clear of the doors. For favor, Hello, I am Brian Lewis, and I'm here with my lovely wife, Tammy. Hi. Hi. Uh, we can't wait to get into our top 10 memories. You know, it's the way it makes us feel that keeps us going back. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're just, I'm kind of a little up today. You're a little down today. We're going to come right in the middle and figure this out, right? Um. But when we're at home, we'll find ways to escape and get back to Disney World, like watching videos, um, watching YouTube videos, uh, listening to podcasts. Um, it's kind of escapism, too. Like, we even get into Tiki some because of Trader Sam's, don't we? Yeah. We had to put it away, though, because of Wisconsin winters. Wisconsin Brian winters. Brian was very sad. I'm still very sad. It's an unfortunate thing to have to face winter in Wisconsin, um, especially when the Tiki Bar was so jiving this year. Yeah, we used it a lot this year. Yeah, and we had a really good time. Um, but please like and subscribe to the show on your podcast app or on YouTube, and be sure to share it out. Remember, new episodes every Tuesday. Now, Tammy, did you know there's a new show coming on Friday? I knew there was a new show coming, but I didn't know when it was coming. It is. It's coming on Friday. It's going to be the Disney Dash, a short form podcast with my daughter Mia and I. And we'll be talking a Disney A to Z from her perspective. Yeah, she is super excited to do this with you. I know. We So we've got the Disney A to Z book that is put out. Or this is the fourth edition we're going to be using. And this was put out by Dave Smith, who was the head archivist for many years for Disney. He was the guy that actually started the archives. And um, we're going to pick an item and discuss it. It is a very large book, but... We're going to go A to Z, um, and we will, you know, have a good time talking about it. She's, like you said, very excited. Yep. All right. So top memories from Disney World. Do you want to start? Sure. Um, let's see. What one do I want to start with? I am going to start with when we went, just our family, just the five of us, to Animal Kingdom. And we are getting our picture taken in front of the Tree of Life. And Kevin photobombed us. And oh, none yes. None of us knew that he was in the picture. I had no idea. Until after it was taken. <laughs> it was, and it was awesome. It was very awesome. And I remember, um, like, I was still trying to be, like, part of the picture, you know. Like, I was going to be serious about the picture. And I'm still standing there. And people are kind of laughing and the the photographer wasn't really letting on at all no i think we have a few pictures finally where we're all kind of like <laughs> i think i was the last one i finally went oh sweet <laughs> <laughs> that was a great time yeah yeah it's one of my favorite pictures it, yes uh and that was right after kevin had debuted too yep. so that was some disney magic right off the bat uh definitely find um kevin in the park if you get the chance yeah He's, he's really fun. Um, or she, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is a she. She, okay. yes. My first one would be the good old Main Street Electrical Parade. Uh, the very first time we took the kids. Mm -hmm. And my memory is sitting on the ground in the hub, waiting for the parade to come around. And actually, the parade was coming around. I had both kids on my knees, sitting um, cross-legged, which wasn't the most comfortable thing <laughs> to 
to have the kids on my knees at that point. But uh, it was it was so much fun to sit there and the uh, the uh, parade actors people they were coming up to us and interacting with us as we were watching the parade. It was so much fun to do that, and I want to thank you for sitting there for an hour. <laughs> saving the spot for us it's a long time <laughs> and like i realized then too that like if you're just saving the spot for yourself and one other person you'd probably be okay but like i was spread out as much as one person can be <laughs> and i just kept getting the Squish. area i had was small kept getting smaller, and smaller. <laughs> and I'm like, Ugh. but yeah but no it was worth it we were right up front um it was awesome. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. And that was back when they gave out, um, like, good candy and stuff. That was, I mean, oh, that's a Halloween. Party, yeah. But, like, back, maybe I'm getting into one of your other memories. Sorry. I'm not. Like, um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, the parades are still awesome, but I feel like they used to be even more awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, you're can you're kind of mixing the I Halloween know, yeah, and the yeah. electrical parade, but I do bring this one up because sometime next summer Disney's getting a new nighttime parade. Yeah. And it's called, I believe, Starlight. Um, and it's I I'm super excited for the kingdom to get a nighttime parade back. I didn't think it was going to ever happen again. Yeah, I'm I've got a lot of fond memories of Main Street Electrical just from when I was younger and stuff, so I'm hoping it's just as good, if not yeah. better. Yeah, I'm super excited for it. Um, so it just it was a great memory to have with the kids. Uh, the first time we had them there. So before I was a quote unquote Disney adult, mm -hmm. it was it was quite awesome. What do you got next? So I'm gonna throw way back to when I was young, <laughs> and the first time I got to go, I was six. And my grandpa took me on um, the Empress Lily oh, for yes. the character breakfast. Yes. And I had, I don't know why, but I had my little cowgirl outfit on with castles <laughs> and everything. Um, and I just remember, like, it was awesome getting to meet those characters, hug them. I have a picture of, like, one of my favorite pictures of me, is of me with Pluto and his tongue's, like, hanging in my face and I don't know, like, I don't remember a ton from that trip, but there's, like, two or three things that really stick out, and that's one of them. And I think, like, it was just extra special because it was just, so the trip was me, my grandfather, and my mom and dad, but just my grandpa took me on this breakfast, so it was just him and I, and growing up, I really didn't do a lot of things just with him, so that was special. That's very special, yes. Um me being the historian that I tend to be with Disney, I was super excited to hear this history because this was the very first iteration of a character meal that you were able to take part in, which when I realized that, I went looking for your um, memory photo book mm -hmm. right away, and you did have a certificate from it. Yeah, so they put like pictures of like a bunch of characters and like their signatures because I don't think Back then, I don't think they signed things, or maybe okay. just everybody got that. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I I thought that was really cool. Um, and if I mean, if no one really is aware, the Empress Lily is now. Oh my gosh, is it still Paddlefish? I don't think it's Paddlefish anymore, is it? I don't know. I know what you're talking about, but. Um. So it's the big uh, paddle wheel boat that is on um on the water there in disney springs and they were doing a um breakfast there that uh you know they had the characters and it was something they were trying out and it ended up becoming popular and it was just breakfast um and it slowly you know that slowly moved into other things and getting bigger and bigger and becoming the character meal animal that it is now um but to you know think back and look at kind of the evolution where i think they started with a santa meal first and then they moved into having characters after the the christmas thing was over um and knowing you were there at that time like i'm always intrigued with things that i never got to take part in and and be you know and see and enjoy and um 
have that connection, I guess, that you were there for that. So na, 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 na. <laughs> you're so nice. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, leading off of yours, um, you know, one my one of my great memories, and I tell every person that's going there for the first time that they have to go to Chef Mickey's. Um, it's quintessential Disney at this point. You're sitting in the contemporary, one of the very first uh, resorts to have opened. You've got the monorail going right past you, and you're meeting the Fab Five: Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. And the first time that we went back in 2016, this was the first thing we did when we got there, was we went and did breakfast, and then we headed over to Epcot. Um, and we got to have all three kids at the, at the breakfast. We met all of the characters while we were there. Um, it was very exciting and very hectic at times, mm -hmm. um, just trying to grab food while not missing a character. Um, you know, and it was... It was kind of like a first time for us because we had never really done a character meal before. Um, and being able to, or, you know, like trying to figure out when to grab food. And, and it was more, I think, had we realized at the time that this was the time period that, they, that the characters are coming by, that we should just wait, enjoy the characters, then get our food. See, so, yeah, I would, I would count that as not one of my favorite memories because only because we didn't know what we were doing. Like, I would like to go back there now because mm -hmm. now we know that, like, just go do your thing and you're going to see everyone. And if you, there's someone you miss, you just tell the cast member, like, hey, we never got to so see Pluto. Can you have him come by our table before we leave or whatever? Yeah, and that's a good point because when I do tell people, like, go to Chef Mickey's, I always forget that part. Yeah. Like, it's pretty crazy but make sure you let the attendant, the waitress, waiter, whoever it might be, cast member, know. And I do remember them asking, did everyone get over here? Yeah, I just remember, like, because it was our first one, like, we were all going to, like, there were a few times we were going to go up to get food. And I was like, wait, no, here comes whatever. We have to stay here. <laughs> I remember that as well. Yeah. And I, I do remember having the thought it shouldn't be this stressful. Right. Um, and it doesn't have to be. So when you go make sure that you're doing that make sure you're paying attention to who is there who's coming by to visit you and making sure that you do get to see everyone because they want to make sure that you see everyone um that is the beauty of disney um they want to make sure that you're happy and that you you're getting what you paid for mm -hmm. so um you know take your time make sure you you let them know what's going on and it's a great time Back to me, huh? Back to you. So I, I picked one for all of us, one for me when I was little. So now I, I had to pick one for each of our kids. So I'll start with uh, Jacob. One of my favorite memories is when Princess Tiana kissed him. Oh, yes. <laughs> he. So it was funny because like the... Leading up to it, he was like, oh, I really don't want to meet her, but I have this stupid sister, so I have to. <laughs> and then we got up there, and she was just like, he's so cute, whatever. And, like, I've still, to this day, like, never seen that happen again. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's something that commonly happens that, like, a princess will kiss a boy on the cheek or whatever. But he had her lipstick stain. We caught it on a picture yep. um when we got back it was the first thing his uh sister had to tell her class about the trip <laughs> because he was so embarrassed and upset that it <laughs> happened but i think secretly he really wasn't <laughs> no i i think he loved the attention and that she kissed him i yep. mean <laughs> it was it was pretty funny talking about it with him though that was a great memory I know. Uh, and I, I feel like the line wasn't very long for for her either. It was. She was back in that like gazebo, and I just don't know if people maybe didn't know she was back there because it's, you know, a little hidden back there. It is, know? yeah. And um, so that gazebo is back behind the Christmas shop that is in Liberty Square. So if you walk down the bridge into Liberty Square, you got Sleepy Hollow on one side, you got um, you got the Christmas shop on your left. 
And before the Christmas shop, there's a little walkway that goes behind those buildings. And um, there's a, yeah, a gazebo that's back there. And a lot of times they'll have characters uh, meeting in there. So um, don't be afraid to walk back there. I think people enough know that someone's there, but a lot of times people may just kind of happen upon it and not realize that someone is there. So, yeah. um, you know, you can get over to uh, Adventureland from there as well on that same walkway, just to give you an idea of where that would be. Um, but yeah, great spot, great interaction. Glad you brought that one up. <laughs> um, my One of mine is also character related and it goes to the first time Mia got to go to the parks and um she was so excited to show chewbacca her shirt yes. and we have this wonderful picture and i believe i was holding her up to chewbacca's height and she's looking down at her shirt and she's kind of like trying to say look it's i have chewbacca on my shirt i have you on my shirt but the way it looks in the picture she's got her head down and he's putting his forehead to her and it's just this like beautiful moment with Chewbacca and she was into Chewbacca. I was kind of forcing her into Chewbacca at the time. Um, it didn't work out as well as I had hoped, but you know, it was, it was a great moment and a great memory. And um, I, I'm so glad we got that picture. Yeah. It's a really good picture. I was holding her up actually. But We're, okay. okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> it is a really cool picture and a cool moment. Um, yeah, she. I personally thought she was gonna be scared to death of him, but she. I think she loved him the most of an, almost anyone that trip. Yeah, I think so. so too. She was enamored, and then we met Kylo Ren after that, and she had no interest. <laughs> like, we were all kind of weirded out by him because it was a villain, you know. It's just weird. Yeah, he was very like intimidating. I yeah, guess. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, um, Chewbacca. I don't believe he meets anymore on his own actually i think he does if you go over towards uh the star wars what do they call it uh launch, launch bay. bay launch bay which is in the um like disney junior area it's in the back of that uh he does meet back there if i remember correctly I, he um i have seen live streams recently so um you can meet him he also likes to walk around in galaxy's edge mm -hmm. So if you go back there, you might be able to run into him there. He doesn't really stop and meet with people. He'll maybe take a selfie here and there, um, but he's kind of moving around a lot there where if you go to Launch Bay and he's meeting there, then you can um, you know, get a moment with him, take some pictures. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, yeah, I, love, I just loved meeting Chewbacca that time. So mine's a character again, again with Paige, um, the first time that we took them and she got to meet her first princess. Like, I will just never forget the smile and the look in her eyes when she walked up to Aurora and um, Cinderella. Like, she was just, it was like that perfect age where she was just like memorized mesmerized by all the <laughs> magic memories memorized, mesmeries whatever <laughs> um but yeah she just loved meeting them you could tell she like thought she was actually meeting the princess right out of the movie um those are some of the great really good photo pass pictures that we have yeah and the look on her face is what I remember the most yeah. because she was eating it up mm -hmm. and like the magic was real with her. There was no false pretenses going on. It was like, Oh my gosh, this is Rapunzel. Oh my gosh, this is Cinderella. It was amazing. Yep. Um, I think, I think Jacob even had a great time with it too, because he, he was kind of feeding off of that, you know, like he, he wasn't interested in meeting the princesses, but when he got there, and this is the sec or no, this was the first trip. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but when he got there, he was like, This is really cool. Yeah, I think like it didn't hurt that they're pretty and like <laughs> they were calling him Prince Charming, you know. Yeah. So 
but yes i will never forget the look on Paige's face when she was meeting those those princesses <laughs> um and she's sitting right here listening to us giving us some silly faces now yeah. so <laughs> um i have two more to go to and i'm not sure which one to go to next but you guys regular listeners of the show know how much i profess about california grill um i will to the end of my days tell you that one of the greatest experiences you can have with your significant other is to go to california grill and have a meal and watch the fireworks um it's a very romantic and magical time and i will go there all the time if i could um we i, I got to do it with you on our anniversary yeah. and then um, we went back more recently with kylo and Kristen and got to enjoy it there with them um which was also a really good time yeah so i ended up being sick <laughs> when we went on <laughs> our anniversary so i actually didn't eat anything so I had been like begging to go back there mm -hmm. ever since then because Brian kept saying how amazing the food was. Um, and I am, yeah, very glad we went back. Um, I will go there again and again, even though there's lots of other places we haven't been yet. But I will tell everyone too, like it's like you, you're down in the park, you're watching Happily Ever After with the projections and stuff. It's And it's amazing. But you go and you watch it up at California Grill and it's a whole different experience because you're more focused on the fireworks themselves than anything else and you can really see like all the different shapes they're making and stuff which I never realized before because when I'm down in the park I'm watching the castle I'm not really watching like I'm watching the fireworks but only the ones that are going off like right above the, the castle and I'm not watching them enough to no notice that they're making shapes. <laughs> so Yeah, I mean, and that's the fun part of it happily ever after is that there's so much going on yeah. that you want to watch it over and over again. Um, and, you know, like, I, until we did that, I did not fully respect the perspective that they need to pull off to have those fireworks exactly over the castle the way that they do um you know when you get up there you realize that the big fireworks are shot a ways behind the castle um so you might see the castle you know like this is a, at a different angle from california grill so you see the castle here but you're gonna see fireworks back away um and there you know there's different launch points because there are some from the side of the castle as well um so it's yeah. It's really neat to get that perspective, but also the because the show is just so crazy. <laughs> I mean, with with all the projections and all of the fireworks, like it's nice to take the projection piece out of it. Yeah, and I'll say too, like I, w I think it's a fine place to take your family if you can afford to take them all there. But there is something to be said too about being out on their balcony and watching it with your significant other because you're not crammed in like crazy, like you are down in the park and the, you can still hear the music. Mm -hmm. um, you can't like see the projections exactly, but you can like a little bit, but you can see the fireworks and it's just like a much more intimate, romantic experience watching it that way. And you get the music pumped in so yep. you can hear it just fine. And um, you might pick something up that you don't hear over somebody talking next to you or holding a phone in front of you. Or right. It's like you said, it's more intimate and um, yeah, you just get a great view. Yeah. Yeah. One more. I have so many more that I don't know which <laughs> one to pick. Yes. Right. Um, Cause like, Paige had mentioned one, which was going to be one of mine, but now I feel like I shouldn't use it because she said I was going to. So <laughs> I'm going to go with one that's just Mia since I did one for the other kids. Okay. Um, But I, there's two with her, and I don't want to take one of them because I don't know if it's going to be your last Is it going to nope. be your last one? Go for it. <laughs> you, I don't know. Well, honorable, okay. You know, honorable mention is a thing. Can you I are able to, mention? yes. Okay. Then I'm going to go with when we took her when she was three 
and she was completely off her sleep schedule because we took a very, very early morning flight. Oh, my goodness. And we thought she would recover it from it, and she never did. And she only wanted Brian the entire time that we were there, and she was just a mess. She was. So it was crazy. We were at, um, you have to help me out with the name of the um, quick service inside Coronado. Oh, uh, <laughs> I know where you're going with this. It's not called that anymore. Um, I want to say it was called. Nope, that's not it. Uh, yeah, I'm at, blanking on anyway, it. Anyway, at yeah. the time, it was the quick service in Coronado Springs. And um, we had went there. And my mom was with us for this trip, too. But she... <laughs> She was just being a beast at that dinner. Mia, not her mom. Yes, Mia. Yeah. She purposely <laughs> like took her chocolate milk and like chucked it across the table and spilled it all over the floor. And like um, you were yelling at her, I was yelling at her, we're I don't all know who was yelling at her. <laughs> She's like screaming and crying, and here comes a cast member with ice cream. Yep. Oh, here, have some ice cream. Don't cry. It's Disney. <laughs> and we're like, um, <laughs> she was yeah it was one of those moments that it's like okay free ice cream but um like do we actually want to give it to her i know but it was almost like you felt like you didn't have a choice because like they it just appeared like we didn't even know where it came from it was just there and he was handing it to her. And I know. Like, How do you yeah. Say no? Yeah. And I'm was, rewarding my kid for yeah. being naughty. That was like <laughs> the first time that I was like, okay, like it doesn't matter. We're at Disney. Like, whatever. If she spills <laughs> chocolate milk, she gets ice cream. That's just how it works here. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, that was not the best. I don't know. It's it's hard to tell a stranger no to ice cream. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> But uh, I believe the name of it is El Mercado de Coronado. Is is that the new name of it? I think so. Paige is nodding her head yes. Okay. Yeah. It remind that like memory reminds me um of the time that that she wouldn't fall asleep at Animal Kingdom either, and you would walk her forever, and then like I took over, mm -hmm. and she was like hot and crying, and some man wanted to buy her ice cream. <laughs> this was just a a customer, and I was like, no, she doesn't need ice cream. She needs to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, she was completely off schedule. Yeah. Um, which you know, try to keep your kids on schedule, but you know your kids the best. Yeah. Uh, you know, at three and a half, we we were kind of like, whatever. She, if she can fit on the ride, she's going on the ride, which may have not have been the best idea, but we wanted her to get on everything we could. Um, I think part of it too is she's always been tall for her age, so she probably got on a few things that, like, I'm thinking of Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Like, we probably shouldn't put her on that. <laughs> She did all right, though. She didn't love it. But no, she's okay. Yeah. It may have ruined her because now it's hard to get her on certain roller coasters. And I'm looking at you, Guardians. She, she's coming. We're coming next week. We're going to be at Disney World next week, and we're getting her on Guardians, whether she likes it or not. Well, she's agreed to it now, but she's not yeah. very happy about it. No, like, if she hates it, we're never going to hear the end of it. <laughs> but she. She loves rock and roller coaster, so I just I feel like she there's no way she could hate this. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Right, um, what's your last? One? Well, I wanted to finish up on oh, Mia a sorry. little bit, and just knowing your kids, like you want to know when they're gonna lose it, right? Maybe you can catch them before, like us, like we could did not catch. Um, you know, like I thought with early morning flight that she would sleep on the plane. No, she was a wild terror on the plane and we never gave her that chance to catch up after that and i think that was you know we set ourselves up for not success so um you know just know your kids cues give them the breaks that they need and you're gonna have a great time with your kids yeah and remember that like i know a lot of people don't like to build in days off when they go to disney because 
some people aren't as lucky as us. Like it's a once in a lifetime thing for them, mm-hmm. or you know, they only go a couple times, so they want to pack in everything that they can. But these kids, like these younger kids, especially swimming in the resort pools, like nine times out of ten, you come back and you ask them what their favorite thing they did was, and it was swimming. I know. So like Yes, go to the parks and do the fun stuff that you want to do, but you don't have to be there from open to close. Like, give yourself some time to relax and enjoy your resort, too. And I think, you know, the first time we took Mia, I think that was one of our um, mistakes is that because we hadn't been in four years and we didn't think we'd be coming back and we wanted to pack in everything that we could and, you know, learn from our mistake. Don't do that. (laughs) Uh, all right so my last one um i'm going back to her honeymoon okay i do actually have a fond memory that i can think of once in a while and um you know it's been some a few short years since we got married right but it was a it was rainy season a little bit when we were there um and so we did have some periods of rain we just throw on our poncho and 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 go um we had come out of time to date myself we had come out of uh who wants to be a millionaire right Mm -hmm. and it was pouring down rain we stood there for a little bit thinking about what we should do do we wait it out in this little corridor with a hundred other people Mm -hmm. or do we just throw on the ponchos i was wearing sandals because that's what i always wore at the time um throw it on and go and we did we walked from basically where toy story land is now all the way up to um tower of terror and by the time we got there it was done raining and nobody was in line like everyone just disappeared Mm -hmm. we were able to go on rock and roller coaster i talked you into tower of terror and then we went back on rock and roller coaster all within a few minutes and it was walk-ons that whole time and it was incredible and like I know this still happens. It starts raining and people run. They're either running for a meal or they're running out of the park. And I don't know what they're thinking because usually the rains in, in Florida are short. Um, but they, you know, like a lot of times if you stay for the rain, and I remember this from the very, very first time I got to go, it rained and my mom and her friend wanted to go back to the room. It was raining. They were done. I said, I'm going to Magic Kingdom, and I ran around Magic Kingdom all by myself, and there was nobody there. Um, so, you know, like these are things that happened back when the parks weren't quite as busy mm-hmm. as they are now. So you're not going to quite get walk-ons all the time, but stick around when it rains. Throw on that poncho. Um, you know, if you have some sandals with you, flip-flops maybe, throw those on and just go. Have a good time. Um, You know, some of the rides might close down because of the rain, but I'm telling you, do what you can in that rain, and then when it's done, you're going to have some short lines for a little while. Um, It's it's a great time to be in the parks. And a rainy day in a park, in a Disney park, is better than any day at work. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, yeah, but our honeymoon, was that was awesome that we got to do that. And I remember Epcot was always wet, like the whole I day. The whole time, yeah. <laughs> and I, uh, I still cannot remember who it was that we ran into on the promenade as we were walking in the rain somewhere, but it was a quick hello. And I don't know, it's always fun to meet people or see people you know in mm-hmm. places like that. All right. So that was fun. Memories. We want to hear your memories. Let us know on the text line. If you go to the show notes, it'll say send us a text. And you can, right from your phone, send us a text and let us know your memory. Uh, We will also love to hear it on Facebook and Instagram or on YouTube. Put it down in the comments. Melissa Pilgrim is our choice for your next Disney vacation. You can reach her at amagicalpilgrimage at gmail.com. We thank her for her support. So thank you, everybody, for watching, listening. 
Remember, ep episodes are every Tuesday, and you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, and we want to know your memory. Send in your memories, and we will read them on the show. But as we like to say, some live close. But others don't. So let's talk about it. We'll see you next time on Miles from Main Street. <laughs>